Our vision here at Gray Fox is to create, acquire, and manage sustainable companies in order to develop leaders and provide them life-changing opportunities. And I can say that's exactly been my experience here at Gray Fox. I think one thing that sets apart my experience at Gray Fox and maybe at another company is that I got the opportunity to work with a lot of different companies um, because we, we manage and uh, you know, help sustain a lot of different companies. Whether it's Two Men in a Truck or Smash My Trash or uh, the Driveway Company or the um, Zoom Drain. You know, we have all these different franchises that our accounting team all get touches with. We're all getting tons of experiences to working with general managers and we're always getting experience with like onboarding processes of new businesses and new employees. Um, you know, you're, you're getting developed in how to read different type of financial reporting over different types of industries. And so it's kind of a unique experience that I had at Gray Fox with accounting. It wasn't like I was just in one industry, and, but I got to experience multiple industries and kind of better understand how to think about those businesses. And so that's something I think that's very unique about here. Um, and because of, you know, we've grown a ton over the last three years, but we're also not so big that you're so disconnected from people. I still know every general manager within two minute truck. I still know everybody on the Gray Fox team and interact with them on a, at least bi-weekly basis around different issues and things. And so um, you're really part of a team working together to accomplish, you know, a common vision. So um, I think that is something unique about Gray Fox compared to maybe um, a, you know, a large corporation or something like that. So, um, or just one industry focused corporation versus we're kind of having touches in the lots. Yeah, from the get go, um, Nathan said, hey, trust me, we're gonna take care of you. And every year he gave me opportunities to grow. He gave me, um, I financially grew, my financial package grew every year, you know, um, and I felt provided for, I felt, I felt, um, What's the word I'm trying to say? I felt proud of what I was doing and felt encouraged by the, what I, the, the vision of our company. Like every time Nathan would get up and we had at least two or three times a year where there's some type of place where he's sharing the vision of the company. And when you hear him share it, you're like, I believe this guy. I, I believe what he's saying. He believes this is true. He really wants to have an impact in people's lives. And and then when I'm with him, I'm, I'm learning about what's going on with his kids and I'm learning about other things he's carrying at times in life. It wasn't like just this work relationship, but I felt connected personally to him. And then, the, but even though he was in Columbia and I didn't get to see him day to day with the Feldmans, it was even a greater story to that. I knew you know, everything going on with their family and my family. You know, they're personally involved with my life and me and theirs. They're, they're inviting me to bring my family to the, to the lake and spend the day with them. That, you know, just it wasn't like just this, hey, did you get your task done? It's very much like, hey, you're a person and you matter to this company. And I felt that every day. Um, and so, I, I don't know. I just, I'm thankful for Nathan and Rebecca and Brian. Um, I feel like they're friends of mine. I don't feel like they're just people I work for, but I feel like I know them. Um, and they know me. I feel like I, I also was vulnerable and entered in with them about my life. And so that, and they let me do that. Um, and so, um, and then I would just say, yeah, like there hasn't been anything that Nathan, when he hired me, the one thing he said to me, because, because I think he must knew like, and he believed in his vision that, Hey, we're going to prepare people to go do things. Um, if opportunities come, and he said, the d first phone call, he said, Josh, there's only one thing I ask if you ever transition, please replace yourself. It wasn't a matter of like, you'll never leave here. You're always gonna be here at Gray Fox. In the first phone call, he told me that. But I, on that phone call with Nathan, as we talked those two hours, we shared about our worldviews. We shared about, you know, our real stories about, you know, why we do what we do. And it was what won me over to want to come work with Gray Fox. I chose Gray Fox because of the like-mindedness that I had and, and has been confirmed over my time working with Nathan um, and just our like-mindedness and our faith. And so um, that, that was a major kind of deal breaker for me when I was trying to decide. 
that's kind of my story here at Gray Fox. I'm so thankful for Nathan and Brian and Rebecca and them taking the opportunity to hire me and let it, but they not only did, did they not just take the opportunity, they did help me develop and help me prepare beyond even my time here at Gray Fox. And I'll, I'll forever be, I will forever be grateful for them for that. So it's just been a, a very great experience for me here at Gray Fox and so, so thankful for it.